Hey, what's going on everybody out there? This is Jake James Lugo. Welcome to the channel and welcome to this brand new unboxing and impressions video. We're gonna be taking a look at the Fixture S1 and its accessories from Fixture Gaming. They just sent me this in the mail, so big shout outs to Fixture Gaming for doing so. Uh, I'm curious about this because I've seen this in a few different spots. I've seen a couple other content creators unbox this and review it, so I was like, you know what? I wanna check this out for myself. And they were like, okay, sure, here you go. So. As I'm opening up this bad boy, let me know what's up in the comments section down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys can. Uh, leave me a comment. Uh, leave a like on the video, of course. And don't forget, too, to join the Discord server because we got a cool Discord server I know you guys are going to love, especially with all the gaming and tech talk and the movie talk and the anime talk. It's a lot of stuff. But anyway, here's the Fixture S1. Open up the box here. See what comes in this here. Yeah, let's see, we got this here. It says, thank you for your purchase, blah, 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 contact, uh, any support and stuff. Oh, and it's got a little guide on how to actually equip this to your screen and to your pro controller and stuff. So this mount, okay, or this clip, is basically to clip your screen of your Nintendo Switch to your controller. So it allows you pretty much, as you have the, what is it, the actual screen here? Let me see if I can open this a little bit. It's, it feels very stiff, which is what you want for a controller clip. So it basically is gonna look like this and has the screen like up here. You could actually turn, you know, the little little mount here for the screen itself so you could adjust it, which is nice. I appreciate that. You know, you want your accessories to be stiff so that way when uh, was it, you have the screen right here, you don't like drop it. That would suck big time, right? So uh, yeah, it's pretty much gonna look like this. It's gonna go right onto the controller and then you'll be able to play it as is. Or I believe it goes like this in the bottom of the controller. So technically, no, it'd be like this. Okay, at least according to here, this goes on the bottom. Okay, yeah, so exactly is like what I just said. So this pretty much is going to go right into the controller. Now, I have a third-party Pro-like controller, which we will ch test it out right here. And I'll tell you right now, it clips right on pretty darn good. I mean, look at that. That's pretty awesome. Okay, and what I will do is I will get my Switch. And we'll actually pull out the screen and actually put the thing on there. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do that right now, all in real time because it's how we do out here okay so i'm gonna pull out my nintendo switch screen see how this goes here's my screen okay as you guys can tell and i'm gonna put this right onto the mount or at least how it's supposed to go okay here we go it's supposed to like slide onto the mount or slide from the bottom here i think it's like that oh yeah it's exactly like that because i'm looking up the little uh was it instructions so you put it right there onto about the bottom part i believe it is okay yeah so basically, there you go. I know there's a glare here, the reflection and stuff, everything else, but there you go. Now, I will admit, I'm holding this controller now, okay, with the mount. It does have some weight to it, I'm not gonna lie. It does have a little bit of weight. You can adjust it, it does feel like a little bit less weight as I'm holding it here, but you definitely will feel the weight here like this. Putting it down, obviously, like, you know, if you put it on the ground, it's actually gonna tip over, which is not good. Uh, you'll have to like lean it against something in order to mess around with it. But not much else as far as setup is concerned. And nothing else really comes in the box here. But we also have this little case that they sent with the mount here. Let me actually close this up. Of course, stay on brand. And uh, let's open this up. Okay, so actually I'm gonna lean this against the box here. Here's the case. Let's open this up, see if it has anything inside of it, at least what it's supposed to be with. Uh, I guess, okay, you put like your pro controller. Oh, okay, so this is just a, a general, a general, a general switch case that you can put your controller. I'm pretty sure you could probably put the screen with the mount here like that. And then you could put all your switch cases on here as well. You could probably put like, you know, different SD cards or cables, charging cables, things like that. So that sounds pretty dope. I mean, I don't know specifically with this third party controller that I do have. Let's see if I could actually pull off the mount here. How's the, the, disassembly it's not that bad actually it was pretty simple okay no this actually fits right into it okay so again this even works with third-party mounts now i wonder if you could put this in with the mount itself like that let's actually see can you do this let's do like that i got the clip on here right now let's actually oh okay yeah okay now it does feel a little bit squishy i'm not gonna lie it feels a little bit squishy squishy meaning that you're gonna like press down a little bit onto the screen because you don't want to mess it up, but it has that little top section where the switch uh, cases are right here. It actually covers it and protects it. That's actually pretty smart. Okay, I really dig this. I'm really, really digging this. Okay, that's a little tag I gotta rip out. But uh, yeah, and there you go. You could carry your switch. Uh, was it your switch itself in there? I'm pretty sure then in that little, like, little uh, pocket there, you could put the switch Joy-Cons. So I have my Joy-Cons right here, right? So I got my Joy-Cons. Put my Joy-Cons right in here. 
Yeah. Yeah, and I just activated them by accident. But yeah, okay. It'll definitely be a little bit crowded there if you decide to put your AC cable. Or, okay, yeah, your AC, like, you know, actual wall outlet cable uh, in there. It might be a little bit crowded, but I'm digging this. I'm actually digging this, okay? This is actually interesting. Now, let's obviously, you know, one thing I didn't do, let's actually open up this bad boy, turn on my switch, okay? I turn on the switch, and I can, because I have to pull up the Joy-Cons, too. So a little bit of assembly required here, okay? Let me actually turn on my controller. The switch uh, switches on here. Actually, see if I could actually do this here and actually play with it or just mess around with it just to see how it actually turns out. Again, I'm just kind of just changing my grip on my controller here. Just like that, just so I can activate it. Okay, actually, now that I think about it, it's because like, I was using this on another switch, so that might be a little bit annoying, but ideally, okay, obviously, if this was, like, actually plugged in and stuff, you'd be playing like this, and you'd actually be messing around and playing games or whatever. Like I said, just moving it around like this, okay, even I'll just, like, you know, dim it up a little bit so you guys can see the screen or just like, mess around with the brightness here. Basically, like, ideally, you're going to be moving around. It does feel like it's got a little bit of weight to it because of the screen, but... I'm not complaining too, too much because I do think that this is definitely works well with the portability of the Switch. And instead of like bringing like a giant case over, you know, and then worrying about like, obviously if you don't want to take your dock with you or anything else, you're just okay with just putting this in like a briefcase or just carrying it like this or putting it in a backpack and you should be pretty darn good. So I dig it. I actually think the, the S1 uh, from Fixture Gaming is actually pretty darn good. This is a pretty interesting and useful accessory for your Nintendo Switch. Uh, let me know what you guys think from having seen this here in the comments down below, but it definitely gets the approval from me. Uh, I'm definitely going to mess around with this a little bit tonight. I'll probably play some either Fire Emblem or maybe I'll go in there and try to see how it feels playing Street Fighter or something like that, but I'm really digging it. So anyway, that's going to do it for my impressions of the Fixture Gaming uh, S1 or the Fixture S1. Like I said, tell me your thoughts down below in the comment section. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel as well, of course. And don't forget also, like I mentioned before, join the Discord server. We got a Discord server where you can talk about gaming, you can talk about anime, you can talk about movies, comics, tech. I got to talk about a whole bunch of unboxings and other stuff that I do here on the channel. But also, don't forget too, you can post in suggestions of certain products or certain things you want me to take a look at in an unboxing and impressions video quite like this one. But with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoy this, and I will talk to all of you again very soon. Peace out, and stay epic, everybody. Thanks a bunch for watching the video. I really appreciate it a ton. I'll have more videos for you to enjoy here on the side that I know you'll love. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon, too. Don't forget to visit my Patreon linked below for early access to new videos every week, and join the Discord server, too. It's linked in the description box below. You'll definitely love being a part of it. Thanks again, peace out, and stay epic everybody!